I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? Other than like that one thing that obviously would be the worst thing that could happen. Other than that, there's not that much bad that could happen. I feel. <gasps> Did not see nothing. Mm -mm. That was from before they fixed the dead clicks. And PVMing on this account while the dead clicks were in full force was absolutely terrifying. Without the ring of life, I don't know what I would have done, but it would not have been on fast drag 1405. What's up, guys? Welcome to the video. Happy New Year, and let's get it started. What do you got for me, dude? You got a splash? And a wand. Oh, just kidding. 10x Reaper points, though. 28 Reaper points. And that is also level 86 Slayer. We actually planned that out perfect. This skill is way too easy. Like, my commitment to farming is probably an average of less than five minutes per week. In total, that's, I don't even think about this skill and it's gonna be my first 99. Player on farms, absolutely busted. I've been saving my beans and I'm just gonna buy the seed aside stealer upgrade really quick. What it does is instead of destroying seeds, it'll actually just pick them up and put them in your invent. I'm gonna grab the herbicide as well and we don't have enough beans for the upgrade, but that is also on my list. What? I don't, what in the world? I've had two lances in a hundred kill count. Oh, what in the, I don't, I, all right. We, we doing this? We really doing this, Jagex? All right, we doing this. This is, yeah, this is the thing that we're doing. This is a normal thing. There's no need to panic or anything. It's just a, a normal, regular, standard, normal, general, situational, understandable. We just got abstract three. All right, does your boy go back to back? Dragon bones, oh man, we are having ourselves an absolute reaper right now. Oh my goodness, that's back to back dragon bones. All right, that's the end of the reaper. Oh my goodness, that's 79 herbal already. So I can now boost and make super anti-fires. That's pretty good. I think QBD revenge is gonna have to happen soon. And there we go. Super anti-fires are in production. Actually pretty hype. I'm, I'm really, really fired up for this. Get it fired up because I'm never, I'm sorry. I don't want to do it, but we got to do it. I've got super anti-fires now. What's the worst thing that could happen? Let's, uh, let's go back to QBD, I guess. I'm not going to do too many kills because reasons, and I'm still terrified of this boss, but come on. I've waited a long time for this. Oh, I have waited a long time. Long, 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 long time for this. I was so stressed this entire time, I did not say a word. Like the original audio for this clip is just breathing. It's so nice to be back at Queen Black Dragon and I feel like I'm actually at a point where I could do it if I wanted to. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of it, I'm just gonna get this one kill, sort of finish that chapter of the story, but it's really cool to see things like a sign of life be equipped and Guthix Rest, Super Anti-Fires, Adrenaline Potions, and all these things that I didn't have before. It's really cool to see. With the Queen Black Dragon going down, that concludes our revenge story. Kind of. I want to go back and get a Royal Crossbow at some point, but this I'll have to do for now. That was genuinely terrifying. Nope. 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 Let's get it. Nope. And by it, I mean, well, nothing. Two elites though. Seven Reaper points, seven K of XP. I'll take it. Okay, I'm guessing it's back this way. Don't do it. Oh yeah, gotta be, gotta be. Ah! Eh, could be worse. Okay, so Big Game Hunter, why am I here? I actually don't know. It's basically just a really fun skilling method. If you've never tried it, it's easily the closest skilling method to an actual boss encounter. There's no risk of dying or anything, but it's super, super dynamic where all of the different creatures have different pathing systems and it's just a ton of fun to do. Not only is it easily my favorite skilling method in the entire game, but it's also a pretty good source of prayer XP and PVM supplies and dragon hide and a bunch of other things that aren't ever a bad thing to have. So anyways, I'm doing some big game hunter. It's not really on the to-do list, but that's why it's in the video. I'm just enjoying it too much to put it down. Oh yeah, now I don't have the level. Forgot about that. No! Oh my God, I'm actually garbage. Yeah, I'm personally not a huge fan of skilling, but this is 
actually really enjoyable. Another one bites the dust. Got ourselves a pineapple seed. Hmm. We are about to get level 75 hunter, which means I no longer am going to have to boost to do this. So yeah, that's pretty good. Even though it's not technically a requirement for Plague's End, in order to get there, you need to do Within the Light, and that quest requires 70 fletching. So it wasn't part of the Prif skills graphic, but I will need to start training fletching. Here's how we're gonna do that. Okay, I can't believe my fletching level is 47 at this point. That's pretty pitiful, and over the last couple of weeks, I've been buying broads. Just like that, that should be a little bit over a million fletching XP. I just need level 55. So I'm gonna take the 11,000 maple logs I got from Kingdom and I'm just gonna turn a bunch of them into arrow shafts until I've got enough. Should be relatively AFK and should also get me 2K total as well as probably 55 fletching by the time I've made it through all of them. The main objective in this video is still the elven city of Priftinus. And if you take a look at the stats, we're doing quite well. You'll notice since the last video, I went and got myself level 75 woodcutting, just AFK'd the entire thing. And I've also been AFKing the bikes at the dig site. It's extremely slow XP if you're not paying attention, like literally 15,000 XP an hour, but that is a whole lot more than nothing. And all I have to do is move my mouse every five minutes and I'm getting those levels. So anyway, it's very good progress. We're well over halfway there. And for right now, let's get some quick crafting levels. It feels weird to be leaving this one level off the Prif Wreck, but I feel like doing some bossing, so let's hit up Vindicta and maybe do some God Wars too. Time for some of the fastest Vindicta kills you've ever seen. Ha! Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright. Ooh, Dragon Bones. Oh, we like that. We like that a lot, actually. That's un unreal. Ooh, more dragon, but oh man. We're actually having such a good run of things. I could go get 75 prayer, like right now, I think. Back to back to back dragon bones. Okay. Confirm 20,000 dragon bones an hour. That is the end of the Reaper. Black dragon hide. Most importantly, though, 18 Reaper points. I will take it. I am gonna grab my extra dragon bone, and we're out of here. Let's grab a new one. Should I do it? I should. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay, I need to make some prey pots, and I need to cook some good food. Is now a good time to mention I really don't like this? But what are you gonna do? Death told me- Death gave me a job. And it was to do this, so, you know? I just need to spam food here and watch for time stops, I think. Done. That actually wasn't too, too bad. We just, like, we just need to look for time stops, that's it. As long as we're looking for time stops, I think we'll be okay. Ooh, look at that money! Rock tails? Holy moly, that was insane. Oh, buddy, why? Oh, no, I have a sec. Okay, what the frig, bro? Click on the. I don't care. I'm not dealing with three grot worms. I am just gonna teleport out and go back in. P4 is stressful as heck because the souls do a lot of damage, the worms do a lot of damage, the boss does a lot of damage. We out. Not good. What do you got for me? <laughs> back to back stone spirits, pog. I only used like eight food that kill. That's sick. 148. All right, we're getting better at this. Five, six, that's like 80 prayer potions. Ooh, more onyx bolts. This is more time than I want to spend on last phase. Are you kidding me? QBD, please. If I need to, I'm going to tap here. No, we're good. No food left. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, it's fine. I mean, I, I had my hand on the teleport button. We're fine. Ooh, first royal piece on the account, a royal torsion spring. All right, let's go. I'll take it. To the bank, let's grab some more food and then back in we go. Oh my, we've gotten a 90 onyx bolt tip so far. That's so sick. Buddy, that's so rude. Goodbye. All righty, QBD Reaper done. 10 kill count, 10k Sarah XP, 10 Reaper points. There we go. We're getting some Iron Man luck here. In 10 kills, we've got half a Royal Crossbow. Um, okay. That is, uh, yeah, I'll take it. We're back at the garage door because 14 episodes in, I'm still completely embarrassed by my melee gear. I look like a bot, but like a bot that also didn't know what gear was good. So yeah, anyway, hopefully we can get some upgrades. <laughs> Come on, food drop. Oh my, what? 
What a waste of perfectly good RNG. I just got a Bando's War Shield off the minion. I already have one of those. And it's worse than the one I can make with mining. It's what in the world? How? Is it fortunate or is it unfortunate? It's an elk, I guess. Bando's boots. Uh, yeah, I'll take I'll take some Bando's boots, actually. That is that is an upgrade. That is best in slot for right now. Would have obviously preferred. I think the chest plate is the thing I most desperately need to upgrade. But Bando's boots, I'm great with that. Sweet. Uh, 89 def coming in. It's not bad. Help me tank a little bit. 39 kill count. Let's get up to 40 and then, yeah, in for the trip. Grar done. Under 15 seconds, but it says 16. Okay. Um, RuneScape, go, go home, you're drunk. But I'm pretty proud of that kill time. That was pretty insane. Aside from the kiln cape, every single piece of my equipped gear is just horrible. There are two upgrades I can make now that I'm level 74 crafting. I can go and get an amulet of glory, which I can just do right now with a spicy stew boost. And the other one is I can do a fight kiln for an onyx to grab myself a ring of fortune. Let's get both of those things done. What are the stats? 18 versus, oh my goodness, 26. I did not know it was that big of a difference. I would have done this. I mean, I guess I couldn't have because six level boost, but that's very significant. Oh my goodness, that's level 85 magic. So, oh, that's really cool, actually. I can actually use sunshine now. So we should maybe do the world wakes at some point. Just to see, but yeah, we brought the perfect amount of supplies. So it's good to know 10 restores is the right amount. That feels like a lot, but no, definitely the right amount. Cause we had our tier 70 prayers on like the whole time. Boss about to spawn. Oh boy. Oh boy. We actually may not kill it here. We might not be able to do 8,000 damage this cycle. Please. What is going on? Oh, we did it. 5703, new personal record. He's absolutely insane. Give me the Onyx. Okay, Onyx ring. Magic pot. And we now have a ring of fortune. Last collected five weeks, two days ago. Oh, should we do it? Oh yeah, let's do it. We've got a ring of fortune. It's kind of like a, a celebratory moment. Oh yeah, that'll do. Look at those birds nests. That's gonna work. That is definitely gonna work. That is gonna be a wrap for this video. We are getting closer and closer to the elven city of Prif and we're still doing a good amount of PVMing as well. Thank you guys so much for your patience for this upload. I went on a little holiday and I think I needed it. It's great to be back in the office now though, and I can't wait to upload more videos in 2020. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one, and I will see you in the next one.